हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल आल्सो प्लीज प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द अपडेट्स सो दिस इज ए प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम गेट 2013 अबाउट टू एंड डाइट एक्टर इट्स ए लिंक्ड क्वेश्चन सो टू सब क्वेश्चंस आर देयर सो द प्रॉब्लम सेज ए टू व्हील ड्राइव ट्रैक्टर व्हीइंग 21 किलो न्यूटन हैज ए व्हील बेस ऑफ 2.1 मीटर The CG of the tractor is 0.7 meter ahead of rear axle center. The tractor is pulling a single axle trailer with gross trailer weight of 50 kilo newton on a leveled concrete tool while maintaining the line of pull parallel to the ground surface. The tractor hitch point is 42 cm behind the rear axle center and 52.5 cm above the ground surface. During operation, 20% of the gross trailer weight is transferred to the tractor hitch point. If the coefficient of loading resistance for each of the tractor and trailer wheels is taken at 0.04, and uh, the ground uh, their ground reactions are assumed to pass through their respective pull centers. So basically, the coefficient of loading resistance is given 0.04 because it's a uh, concrete ground. So generally, even if it's not given uh, 0.04, you have to assume that one. So you have to find out the dynamic ground reaction against the tractor rear wheel in kilo newton, and the gross traction ratio divided by the tractor. So quickly uh, look at the what are the given data and uh, what are the things are uh, to be calculated. So first, what you need to do is uh, to draw a three body diagram of the tractor having all the forces. So this is the basic thing. So first, let's draw. So this is the uh, latest ground. First, the ground on which the tractor will be uh, resting. So or uh, moving. So let this is the uh, rear wheel, front wheel. Then connect them as a tractor. You see basic uh, dimension. So now this is let it R R sorry R F or uh, ground wheel direction for the front wheel. And this is R R. See the ground wheel direction from the rear wheel. So then the wheel base is given. That is 2.1 meter. Okay. Then the CG is uh, uh, the, the tractor weight is uh, 21 kilo newton. So it uh, generally the tractor weight will be acting at the CG. The CG let it here. This is the line of CG, and the CG is uh, how much distance? 0.7 uh, meter from the Rear axle, uh, center of the rear axle. Okay, this, this is the center of the rear axle. So then we can find uh, this is the um, distance of CG from the rear wheel. Okay. So next is uh, the trailer. A trailer is a which is a single wheel trailer. So basically, so it's a tail uh, trailer. So uh, single wheel means some of the weight uh, will be transferred to the uh, three point hitch. So let it. This is connected with a three-point hitch, a single hitch point. So here not three-point hitch. This is a single hitch point. Remember actually, if it's a trailed implement, then it will be a single point hitch, not three-point hitch. Three-point hitch, uh, hitch is for only the mounted implements. Okay. So this is also you can say sometimes it's a semi-mounted implement. Um, why semi-mounted? Uh, because uh, some of the weight is actually uh, coming to the uh, rear wheel or tractor, and some of the weight is Uh, uh, supported by the uh, wheel of the trailer. So single wheel, single axle wheel. Single axle means there is only two wheels are there. Okay. Now, uh, what it's showing? So it's a uh, the trailer gross weight is given 50 kilo newton. So 50 kilo newton. Uh, let us it's uh, acting somewhere here. So then there is a hitch point. So hitch point is where actually the trailer is uh, connected. So that hitch point. Uh, of the tractor is uh, having a distance of uh, 0.42 or 420 uh, cm 42 cm or convert it into uh, uh, meter because everything should be in meter so it should be easy so 0.42 meter from the uh, rear axle uh, center so 0.42 and uh, if you see the vertical uh, distance from the ground uh, of the hitch point is uh, 52.5 cm Or you can say 0.5 to 5 uh, meter. These are the uh, clearly you have to define these things. Then it will be easier for you to calculate uh, the whatever the forces you need. 
So now it is saying the 20% Taylor weight is transferred to the tractor this point in the dynamic condition. So in the static condition, this is the thing. When dynamic condition, 20% of the Taylor weight, you can see here, the 50 kilonewton, 20% uh, of the 50 kilonewton is 10 kilonewton. So this is maybe 10 kilonewton. So 10 kilonewton will be transferred to this uh, uh, tractor hitch point. So that means here, hitch point is here. So the hitch point uh, uh, is 10 kilonewton. So 10 kilonewton is vertical load on the uh, hitch point. Okay. So 10 kilonewton. Then uh, when 50 kilonewton uh, is shared by 10 and 40, rest 40 will be shared uh, by the uh, wheel uh, that means uh, single excel or two wheels so 40 km it's very clear it's if you uh, just uh, uh, draw this field of body diagram then it will be very easy for you to calculate whatever the things are given to you okay so as shown uh, the row or you can say tactic uh, sorry the ruling resistance is mu so uh, rho that is 0 0.04 for all the wheels it is given so in the tractor wheels and the trailer wheels so basically the drawer pull is uh, in this case since it's a trailed implement so here actually there is no uh, tillage operation is going on only what uh, the tractor is to do to pull the uh, trailer so the trailer needs some uh, drawback force to move so in this case for the moving of the uh, trailer so whatever the force is needed is uh, the uh, normal force is uh, 40 kilonewton okay and uh, because uh, the rolling resistance is given by the wheel so there is the uh, trailer wheel so on the trailer wheel the resist uh, soil reaction is 40 kilonewton you can see here because uh, 10 kilonewton is transferred here so only 40 kilonewton left so 40 kilonewton uh, is the weight into rolling resistance so there will be the drawer pool so which is required by the Track, uh, drawer uh, or his point to pull this uh, trailer forward okay so this is the basic thing you have to understand so that means the drawer pull will be how much the row means there is a um, coefficient of rolling resistance into dynamic gross trailer weight dynamic gross trailer weight is now 40 kN because from 50 10 is transport 40 is on the um, wheel of the trailer so that is 40 into uh, mu rho that is equal to H. So H is equal to 0 0.04 into 40 kN. That is 1.6 kN. So 1.6 kN is the uh, horizontal component of the draft. Here it's, uh, it is already uh, told that uh, the draft is always horizontal. So it's, uh, it's maintaining the horizontal so in the level soil, uh, surface. So basically, so there is no uh, inclination angle. So of this pool. So now you can say this is a pool here. Okay, this is the horizontal and it's a parallel to the ground. Okay, parallel to the ground. So the uh, amount is 1.6 kN you calculated here. Okay, so now these things are clear. Now all the forces already calculated. Okay, now what you have to find out the, uh, the RR. So the rear wheel reaction force. So this RR you have to find out. Now after drawing this free body diagram. So now you can neglect this trailer. Since we are talking about this tractor, uh, rear wheel is in, uh, on the tractor. So now we have to find out rear wheel reaction. So now these two forces, uh, the horizontal and vertical component of this force uh, due to this trailer already will be achieved. Okay. So now what we will say, uh, let it, this is the center. Okay. So take this point as A, where it's, uh, the rear wheel is contacting with the soil and B is the uh, contact point of the front wheel. So taking moment over B, so let's just uh, about B because you have to find out RR, so you have to take the moment about RF. So RR into 2.1 is the distance, the wheel base, this should be equal to 21, uh, it's uh, uh, clockwise, so it should be taken as the red side, uh, means uh, right side, uh, so 21 into 1.4 is the distance from this uh, B point, so you can see this is the 1.4 okay so uh, plus uh, because this is uh, in the um, also these forces uh, the horizontal component and vertical component of the uh, uh, hitch point also working against the 
um, this one so this will be um, clockwise anti clockwise but this is the left side of the rr so this one will be positive so 1.6 into uh, distance from the b point is uh, 1 point sorry 0 0.5 to 5 okay vertical distance then plus 10 into 10 is the downward into 2.1 plus this is the distance so this distance okay into this one okay this is 10 into 2.1 plus 0.42 so by solving this you can find out rr is to, uh, this much 26.4 simply you just uh, calculate this on the basis of uh, all the uh, values so 26.4 km is the answer for the first part so when we ask the rear wheel dynamic weight so this is the rear wheel very simple so first you, need, you have to uh, understand this uh, three body diagram then you can easily solve it so coming to next uh, part there is the total uh, weight on the both front and rear wheel of the tractor so you have to find out the uh, gross taxi, uh, tractive coefficient so for gross tractive coefficient what do you need actually the weight uh, of the rear wheel there is already find out uh, ground wheel reaction and uh, what we need is the drawbar uh, sorry the loss of uh, tractive force that is the uh, tau force so now the total weight of the, uh, for the tau wheel uh, for the tractor is 21 is the weight of the tractor plus 10 is the transport weight from the um, trailer so total weight will be 31 kN Other, otherwise we can also find out that RF plus RR should be dynamic condition 31 kN also so you can quickly cross check so that is taking moment of A RF into 2.1 uh, should be equal to 21.0.7 if you see just, just the uh, then RF you can find out 4.6 kN already you find out the RR is uh, 26.4 so then if you uh, sum it up it will be also 31 km if you see this one and this one is same okay so 31 km so you don't need this one actually but i just uh, read it for your understanding so you don't need you just can directly put uh, this 21 plus 10 into your equation so now uh, tau force for the tractor is equal to uh, 31 is the total weight of the tractor and uh, where actually the tau force is required so that is 31 into 0 0.04 this is 1.24 km is the tau force required to move the tractor okay tau force is nothing but the uh, ideal means ideal uh, force required for the tractor to move so by all the wheels so now the pull is already uh, we calculated this 1.6 okay so this is the tau force so tau force plus, plus uh, pull is uh, equal to gross tractive force that is f if it is h plus t f, t f or tau force then that will be equal to 1.6 plus 1.24 that is equal to 2.484 kN so then gross tactile coefficient will be equal to f or gross tactile force divided by uh, rear wheel reaction rr so here rear wheel reaction is 26.4 already uh, we found out rr okay or you can see here this one okay so 26.4 and 2.84 is the uh, total gross force which is developed by the uh, rear axle or rear wheels so then uh, the ratio of this will be equal to gross tractive coefficient that is 0 0.1076 so that means that will be equal to you can take it 0 0.108 so this is the answer for the second part okay so this ends this problem so till then goodbye